We are telling African stories from an African perspective, slow, very dialogue oriented because we are speaking people. The way I viewed being banned and being silenced, that was kind of just adding fuel to the fire. I wish every African American could visit Africa and every African could visit America. It would be the ultimate cultural exchange program. What's up, and welcome to Afropop, the ultimate culture exchange. I'm your host, Idris Elba, coming to you from Harlem, USA. Afropop brings you a fresh perspective of today's African society. Now, our featured film tonight is Hip Hop Revolution by South African director William Williams. As hip hop culture spreads around the globe, it becomes a powerful tool of expression for the young, the disenfranchised, and the oppressed. Under apartheid South Africa, hip hop music was banned by the government. Listening to it, selling it, creating it could have you thrown in jail. So in tonight's episode, William documents the history of hip hop culture in her home city of Cape Town, from its underground roots as a weapon of resistance to today's vibrant form. Hip hop remains the popular culture for an entire generation of South Africans who grew up in the waning days of apartheid. So that said, let's watch Hip Hop Revolution. So just like Hip Hop Revolution showcased young people seeking to overcome the systematic restraints of apartheid, our next young filmmaker is using his camera to overcome the silence in his country about slavery. Perched on the coast of Accra, Ghana, lies a former slave post called Asha Fort. Now how do you live with a history that defines a painful past without becoming consumed by its legacy? Join filmmaker Benjamin Kent as he tries to understand the history of the fort from those who live nearest to it. His film is called Close Strangers. I'm Idris. Join me next time for Afropop, the ultimate culture exchange. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>